Hi, would you like to have a little bit more patience? I know sometimes I need to. So today's world we live in is so fast paced. There's so much going on and we can kind of feel like we're being bombarded once in a while and things can get challenging and we've got to have that patience. Maybe you've got a deadline that you're working on and it's a really important project and that deadline is just creeping up and you just are getting worried, concerned and frustrated. Or maybe you've got a child that's struggling in school, they're just not um, coping well with that, or maybe they're not doing their homework, maybe they're not getting their chores done. Or how about this, maybe you are um, on a trip and your next flight just got canceled or delayed, or maybe they've lost your luggage. These are all things that can really happen. And how about this? Okay, we get busy, like I said, so maybe you're being impatient watching the timer on the microwave, trying to get through those last few seconds. I know we can take it out of the microwave, but sometimes, I know, we get impatient for silly things like that. So it's really true though, things can really cause that kind of frustration and we kind of struggle with that patience once in a while. So let's go over a few tips on how to deal with impatience. And I am Linda Green and I'm going to tell you a couple of things that can be really helpful. So we can turn our thoughts to a more, more positive things. We can kind of do our best to refocus. And I, I know it sounds a lot easier than it is sometimes, but just give it a try. Try to push those negative thoughts out. And like I said, refocus, reframe what's going on. Another one that really helps is to just kind of pause take some deep breaths and help our minds kind of um, calm down and get uh, more chilled out. And you might have to try this a few times, but it really can be very, very beneficial. Then we can also find gratitude. Now, sometimes we can't when we're struggling with one of these things, but if we can sort of shift our focus and learn to find something good in what's going on around us, and maybe just find something that we're grateful for. And, and we can do that. We can find things that we are grateful for. So there's also several essential oils that are really helpful in these areas, but I'm gonna tell you about a couple of, one, couple of those and then I'll show you how to make a roller bottle that can be very helpful for you. So first of all is one of doTERRA's blends and it's called Balance. And this is the oil of grounding. It's a blend of trees and roots and things that are help us feel grounded because they come from the earth and it really does do that. It really helps you to kind of take a step back and kind of chill it a little bit and, and feel more grounded. I really like to use this blend. I use it most every morning and I like it in the evenings as well. It just really helps for those grounding properties. It provides an inner strength and helps us to feel more grounded um, and ground our energy and get a little bit more even keeled and to really help us tap into having that patience. And it's super helpful for those times when we feel kind of scattered or disconnected. It really helps us refocus on being more grounded and stable, persevering and more in the moment. Another one of my favorite oil blends from doTERRA is serenity. This is the oil of tranquility and it really is um, one that evokes that tranquil feeling. It's a blend of flowers, it has wood oils and some leaf oils in it. So this blend is really perfect though for those times when your mind is just racing, you're overactive mind and you're overthinking everything or your mind just keeps squirreling and sometimes our fears get in the way. This blend can help us find peace, and find some tranquility within ourselves and encourages us to have compassion and to find a little bit more of that chill space. So both of these blends are great. Um, you can put either one of these in a diffuser or just smell them straight from the bottle. Those are great, great ways to use essential oils. You can also, um, I'll just use a little bit of this Serenity. And I, I usually just tip the bottle like that. I like to put it on the back of my neck the inside of my wrist, you can do it on the inside of your elbows or on the bottom of your feet. Both, both of these blends come in 15 ml bottles and like I said, it's so easy to apply these things. It's simple. So let me uh, share with you this DIY blend that 
can really help find more patients. So what I like to do is I take these roller bottles and I, I would put in this three, three drops of the bergamot, three drops of frankincense, four drops of the um, balance, and then four drops of serenity. And then you're going to add um, enough fractionated coconut oil to just fill it up about here. And then it's got, they come with little, um, little roller tops. So it's kind of hard to see what that looks like. And then you can just, you just actually pop that and you just kind of push it right into that and then add the lid. Make yourself a little bit of a label if you'd like to. Um, sometimes I just use the uh, oil stickers and put on there what's in that. Uh, like, like the bergamot, I'll, I'll write a three on there and stick it on there. And then I like to put a little bit of tape on it so those um, little stickers stay on there. So these are some ways that can really help you to support that patience that you're needing. Because like I said, life can be crazy, um, hectic. We can be in traffic, we can be dealing with um, a child or a myriad of other things. So these oils, especially these two, they are my favorite for that. Like I said, balance and serenity. They're so good for that grounding um, effect. So, so helpful. And then making that roller bottle is really, really helpful for that. And just, I like to keep roller bottles in my purse. I have several different ones in my purse and you can just take it out or in your backpack in a pocket whatever works for you so anyway i hope you've enjoyed this and if you have hit the like button subscribe so you can get notifications of future videos and don't forget to download my free guide on managing emotions you have a great day